Hello, and welcome to today's edition of Caddy's Corner. I'm trying to do something crazy and capture the sound of the leaves in the tree. Now, well, I don't know if you could hear that, but it's a beautiful rustling on a sunny day. I'm out in uh, Brooklyn running around doing a couple errands before I rest up to go do my karaoke shift tonight. We had a great one last night. Lots of really good singers and just a lot of really good energy. Um, I was very tired after my eight hours of jury duty and then eight hours of bartending, but we do what we gotta do. So, um, just been thinking a lot about being present. Um, I don't even know if I babbled about this before. Um, you know what? There's a new park. I'm going to go walk around the circle of a park. I've never been here. What is this? South Oxford Park. Near the Barclay Center and Atlantic Avenue. Um, I had just moved into my apartment on Bedford Avenue out of um, Prospect Heights and into bed -Stuy. I had quit my job and left that apartment very quickly. I've mentioned before that that was a very traumatic time for me. And I was freaking out one morning. I woke up, went to go get coffee, and I remember standing on the street waiting for the light to change, and I couldn't breathe. I was just like, oh my God, how am I gonna, how am I gonna? But I had moved, and I had a new job at Montero's, and I was okay, and I was safe, and I hadn't at all understood, barely even understand now, how everything went to south as it went with the people it went south with, but um, there was nothing to do. There was really nothing wrong. There was nothing going on. It was just the morning to go get coffee and I was freaking out. And I just stood there and I stared at the building across the street from where I was living now. And I said, be present, be present, be present, be calm, be calm, be calm. You can find, take a breath. Okay. Be mindful, be strong. And then I repeated it. Be present, be calm, be mindful, be strong. And I repeated it up until I got into my room and I was able to write it in all caps in the very front of that journal in red pen. I was like, do not forget this. Be present, be calm, be mindful, be strong. And I use that quite often. It's a good mantra for me. I have other ones I use sometimes too. It's a lovely little itty bitty bark. I'm going to keep walking towards my errand. So... Excuse the burp. I just ate an amazing brunch at a place I keep forgetting the name of, but the B-52 bus gets you there. Get off at a handsome place and eat brunch right by the subway. Um, so today, I had my headphones in. I'm listening to a couple different YouTube videos. I have my music. Um, trying to figure out where I'm going today, what I'm doing, what order, what, what are the important things. I started laundry before I left so I can put it in the dryer when I get back. You know... But then, as I was walking down this block after brunch, I hadn't put my headphones back in to put the music on to drown out the sirens and the craziness of the city. And I heard this rustle, these amazing trees, and now we're approaching Atlantic Avenue, so it's gonna turn to sirens. That's the weirdness and the magic of the city. And actually, I'd like to show you here. I'm gonna swing it around. Because um, I'm right here at a corner that has been, the first time I drove into Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn was in um, the, winter, December of 1999. We ended, Bob and I ended up moving to uh, Marine Park, Brooklyn that year and living in a, in a house. But anyway, that's the Barclay Center right there. That didn't exist. And then this is all of the new buildings. It's really, really wild. And there is a ton of new construction happening. lived in New York since 93 so you got to have your gear you got to have your hat and your scarves and your gloves and your layers and your good boots and your double layer pants and and all of that stuff um, we aren't we don't get the convenience of just walking from our house and getting in the car and going to work and getting out of the car and walking into work and you know when you're out in it sometimes you're out in it for a half an hour 45 minutes sometimes there's not heat on the trains or the buses um, the subway platforms can get very very cold and you know what honestly though that keeps me reminded that there are people, and even more sadly, or equally as sadly, I should say, but often forgotten, 
animals that have to live out in this brutal weather and being out in it for a minute reminds you. So I'm trying to reconnect to nature and stay present. Um, <laughs> well, the Salvation Army donation truck just tells another driver to F off. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but oh, uh, life in Brooklyn. So anyway, not a very focused day for me. I'm still <laughs> brains a little tired from all of the facts of a civil jury case, which that is all I can say about it, but it's pretty epic what's going down. Um, so my hope for today is that you are staying present and calm and mindful and strong and warm. You know what? I'm going to stop and do one more thing. You may or may not know, my dad was an avid HO scale um, train collector and we always had a layout in our house and he loved trains. So anyway, anytime we were anywhere near um, trains, either as museums or ones we could ride, steam trains, locomotives, electric trains, old trains, new trains, we would always hop on trains. And the tracks mean something because they're they're set in land, but they're set by man, and they go somewhere for somebody. They were built for a reason. And right now we're looking at, I guess this isn't going to be a giant construction thing. Well, that over there is by the Barclays behind me. See, there's going to be something else going up there. But this is part of the uh, Long Island Railroad, and it's been renovated. Anyway, I always stop at the train tracks and say hi to my daddy. Love you. So, that's what we got today question for the day is, are you being as present as you could be? Are you staying calm? Are you being mindful? Not just about your needs, but about others. And not just about others' needs, but about yours. And strong. I'm uh, lamenting the fact that I haven't gotten my workouts in as much as I wanted to this week with the crazy schedule I've had. But I can always do push-ups at home. That's my whole thing. I just gotta remember to get up in time and have time to do Tai Chi and push-ups. So, at least then I keep moving on. Um, honestly, this week I did them one day and I got so sore between bartending and running around and not enough sleep, I decided not to do them again. So, conscious choice last week. Um, oh, I did get to the gym one day while I was at court too. So I'm going to take my uh, pants and shoes. I actually did that workout in jeans and hiking boots because I didn't, didn't occur to me that my gym was only two blocks away from the courthouse. So that's all I got today, y'all. Thanks for joining me in Caddyland, and uh, we'll do it again. I'll say tomorrow, but whew, these days have been a little wild with the schedule, so I get them done when I get them done. So I hope y'all are doing well and staying warm, and um, we'll do it again soon. Bye.